We're going to have one more here, and then we're going to pop it over to Kipo. I'm excited for this. I'm a big fan of both these guys. Bonk, real old school supporter of me and my channel and the replay casting show I used to do. Uh, Lupus, great community member, uh, really always doing stuff behind the scenes for organizing events and stuff. So, uh, big fan of both these folks. Haven't really seen how they play the game, though, in like a competitive setting, so I'm looking forward to it. Here we go, Bonk vs. Lupus, game number one. <clears throat> Alright, in the bottom we have Bonk. And up top, Lupus. Okay, Bonk's deck looks pretty cool. I've heard that there's merit to Skunk Falcon. I think it's still hard to, to drop the cam. But this is beginners. I, I don't need to get super crazy on like the meta repercussions of the decks. Um, Wolf is always fun for, for late game buff. Uh, meanwhile, Lupus. Uh, Lupus is, is the Swiss Army Knife Tier 2 build. Uh, we saw this a lot in previous patches where Tier 2 is a little bit stronger. Now Nowadays, it's all about the, the Squirrel Mole. Um... But it's always interesting. It's it's fun to run like this. I actually like Lupus' style a lot. I see I see what they're going for, you know. Mass Lizard. Have that base race scenario uh, uh base race possibility. Um And generally, you know, Mass Lizard can still take good engagements. I don't think it's as good as Squirrel Mole nowadays. But depending on the terrain and the numbers and stuff, could still trade nicely. And then just a ton of options here for Tier 2. So, pretty big map. Lupus is going to feel fine uh, getting into some uh, second base pretty quickly. <laughs> hey, what's up, Captain Cater? Thanks for the raid, man. We're getting into some beginners division games here. Bach vs. Lupus. Both sides going for some quick expands. Uh, so, we got to let this one cook for a minute here. And today is going to be a great... Day if you are a fan of watching Tooth and Tail get casted. Um, I've casted several games already if you want to check out the VOD if you're just tuning in. Uh, and then following me, Kibo and Sasha are going to be casting some matches. Ooh, Bont coming in for an attack here. Hold that thought. Going to get pretty thwarted nicely though from Lupus. Um, and then after Kibo and Sasha... Unprecedented Studios is going to be casting some matches. And then after Unprecedented Studios, Tanner Draco is going to be casting uh, Premiere in our in our like official YouTube uh, format we're trying to do. Um, so for anyone who's not aware, we, we are, Tanner and I are working hard this season to try to get um, some like professional quality Premiere casts on YouTube uh, for the event. Uh, so if you're ever curious, like, oh, why are they casting these? You know, somebody already cast them. We're, we're just, we, we don't want to, like, hog the premiere. We want everybody to be able to, to cast them, but we just want to get them up on, on YouTube and, you know, with the scoreboards and all that kind of stuff. So I think it'll be fun. I think it would be good um, history of it. By the way, if anybody does get their casts on YouTube, uh, please message me them. I have a playlist going, and I can add anybody's... Uh, YouTube to that playlist, right? So if you're a caster and you, you know, clip a video, put it up on YouTube, uh, send me the link and I can, I can get it in the master playlist. But okay, enough rambling about what's going on this weekend. Uh, we got two farm or two base games here from both sides. Uh, Lupus ahead a little bit with the build order. Um, let's see if Bonk can catch up an eco. Bonk, Bonk just really needs to see the multiple tier 2. He does see a couple. And I feel like Bonk will probably have the better later game here with the Wolf. But Lupus is going to move out. Um, I think that Bonk will be fine if Lupus really commits in. Lupus hasn't committed in yet. He's just kind of peeking up like, hey, can I get something done? But Lupus has still got a lot of his tier 2 cooking. Oh no, the cams get busted though! So Lupus tries to turn around and Bonko takes a great engagement there. That's exactly what he needed to get back into this. Emergency turrets going down from Lupus, but will they be up in time? 
Yeah, it looks like one goes down, but the others will thwart the rest of Bonk's aggression away. Yeah, a, big, uh, a little bit of a blunder there from Lupus. Uh, didn't mean to lose those cans there. And then committed into the Lizards trying to save him. <coughs> Alright, Lupus though... Did take a, a bit of a bloody nose in that engagement. However, getting up to a really strong comp here. Six chameleons. And the Falcons are starting to pile in too. Um, so if Lupus, like, pushes in before the wolf is ready for Bonk, I mean, Lupus has a really strong composition right now. Both players trying to take a third base. Generally, pretty good play from both sides. Um, yeah, I don't have any super large complaints. I, th I think a, a few of the attacks on both sides um, were questionable, but... Oh, man. I, ah, six chameleons is so much. I think if Lupus attacks right here, he's really just going to deny Bonk to space. Let's see it. <laughs> Let's see how these toads connect. Six toads here. Ah, oh, Lupus needs a commit! There we go. Getting on top of everything. Chameleons, man. A couple of them still alive. Might go down. But end up uh, knocking out that third base, which is really important right now. And Monk's kind of getting reset before the wolf comes out. But Lupus has a mass of falcons put together, the critical mass, to be able to keep pushing in. And I think this might be just too much damage. Bonk trying to hold on. That wolf is almost ready. Uh, Lupus never scouted that wolf, but... I mean, I... I think that attack still made sense from Lupus, right? Like, come on, you got like six cams and <laughs> a few falcons. You gotta be feeling pretty good. But the wolf is here for Bonko. The problem is the economies, however. Even if Bonk can... Um, put together enough of an army to push this back... You know, Lupus can afford to even trade inefficiently here. Okay, this is nice. Can Bonk make something happen, though? Ugh, I mean, what do you do here if you're Bonk? He's got to sell down some Warrens. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't think this counter is going to work. I just don't think Bonk has enough. Maybe Bonk should have tried to get into a third base and hope Lup Lupus left him alone. And yeah, a lot of these... Uh, Stemmed units, for lack of a better term, uh, come in without the rest of the army. And Bog's gonna run away just with the wolf with the tail between his legs, and it's gonna get chased down by the lizards. This follow up attack from Lupus should be it. GG gonna be called from Bog here shortly. And yeah, really good uh, game sense from Lupus. That was a very nice time to move out. Yeah, as Lupus said in the chat, you know, it, it's pretty reasonable to expect a Tier 3 at that point. Even if you haven't really seen it. So nicely done. Let's hop into match number 2 here. Bonk versus Lupus. <clears throat> Up in the top. With the Fox Bonk. And over on the right hand side, Lupus. I love this deck from Bonk. Uh, this is something I've been trying to make work. Uh, without the wire, though, I typically go either mine or MG. Mines are really good, and they're not they're actually not that hard to use. Um, you know, a big thing is trying to just play them where your commander doesn't see them. One thing I've been doing a lot with mines is if the commander is scouting like this, right, and coming in, then I just wait till the commander goes in to scout my base, and then I place my mines down, like right here in the middle. I mean, it's like a dud, Eltheus, but... If you're just kind of curious how to use mines, then that's the best way to do it. Just look at their scouting uh, patterns. And, like, you know, Lupus is running by. So then now I would put a mine, like, right there. Boom, boom. But yeah, let's see. Lupus changing it up a little bit here. No cams, no falcons. I always love to see this in a series uh, when people change decks. It's. I mean, I can see, I can see the arguments to play both styles. Ooh, Bonk here. 
Look at the mole. I don't think it's going to get up in time. I think this pig will barely finish. Oh, if he was here, he was just a little bit late. Two crits? Oh, one crit. Oh, man. Would that have worked if Bonk was there right when the mole spawned? Okay, gonna commit to the second mole and should get it here. Ugh. It, all oh, right. Immediate ferrets here from Lupus. Interesting. Bonk did not scout the tier two just yet, but going into some cams. Cams are a, a decent uh, way to deal with, with, with ferrets. You can always do the, the, the cam trap, as we call it, or the cam ambush. They used to back in the day in like fox metas and stuff. What we mean by that is you put like four cams in the middle where you think the fox is gonna run by and they just one shot it. So you can try to do something similar with the cams against the ferrets like hide them out on the map where you think the ferrets are gonna step forward and um and harass. Let's see I, I'm always hyped for for ferret play. They haven't been meta for a while. Mishi did pilot ferrets uh, to an upset victory, some could argue, against Tatanka uh, a couple seasons ago. And they still weren't meta then. <coughs> Bonk losing the commander, but generally has a stronger army here with the Squirrel Mole Cam. I mean, this is the, uh, the, the Chad Barbarian comp here, as I call it. <laughs> this is the, the, the Berserker comp. Um, that cam actually going down really fast, and one of these ferrets staying alive, if Lucas can hold this... Bonk may be getting it a little bit too big for his britches. And I think if Lupus just keeps building tier 1, to kind of compensate for the, the indirect, uh, ferrets, yeah, I think he's in good shape. Let's see, oh, but Bonk has a second base going on. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so Bonk actually being super greedy here. Lupus actually is not aware of it yet. But I'm getting worried for Bonk, especially with these ferrets. You know, one base ferret squirrel, like, against somebody trying to expand. I mean, you've got the... So generally, ferrets are not good when army values are evil. Even, but since Bonk expanded, that kind of compensates for the ferrets here. And look at that. Lupus just sniping that mill down, no problem. Bonk's in hot water, he needs to clean this up. Lupus gonna push back for now. <sighs> yeah, and Lupus has a lot of tempo here. I think the, the Falcons are a little bit too greedy again from Bonk. He just really needs more tier one. And this might be a short series as Lupus with the style points here, piloting ferrets to victory. 2-0 victory here from Lupus. I don't think Bonk can really do anything else. He's gonna fight to his last breath. That's gonna be a GG coming out from Hopper here soon. Love this from Lupus. Being careful, pulling back, re-rallying. Really wants to make sure they, they don't mess up the the takedown. Boom boom. GG Bonk forced tap. Nicely played there by Lupus. Taking the series 2-0. Oh.